Hi, I'm George. I will be senior this fall in nuclear department. This summer, I work with Professor Watts in Michigan Ion Beam Lab. My project is use proton irradiation to simulate neutron damage in nuclear material. For traditional nuclear plants, the thermal neutron inside the PWR is less than one EV. But for next generation nuclear reactors, especially the fast reactors, the kinetic energy of the fast neutron is approximately one MeV. Besides, the next generation nuclear plant will operate under high temperatures, dose rate, and uh, pressures. So the objective of this project is use ion beam to simulate neutron effect on steel and the field in the fast nuclear reactors. During the irradiation, we want to know the mechanical behavior of the materials. And after the irradiation, we want to know the localized deformation of the microstructures. This project has basically five components, the ion source, accelerators, ion beam lines, target chamber, and monitor system. This is the overview of the, this project. We get a negative, source, negative ion from the ion source. The negative ion enter the accelerator chamber, and after the accelerators, the ion beam goes through the focusing lines, and then finally strike on the sample in the target chamber. These two pictures are the ion source and the control module. For proton irradiation, we use toys to get negative hydrogen ion. The hydrogen molecule enter the chamber and collide with high energy electron. The aperture on the right side will extract the negative hydrogen ion. This picture is a 1.7 mW tandem accelerator in my bowl. The negative ion enter the accelerator and are accelerated in the first region. In the terminals, the negative ions will collide with nitrogen gas and then get a two positive charge. After this, the positive ion will be accelerated again in the second region. For 1.7 mW tandem accelerator, at the high energy end, we can get the proton with maximum 3.4 MeV kinetic energy. So the last part is target chambers. We put sample on the stage, and then above the stage, we have four apertures. Only part of the ion beam can go through the apertures and then strike on the sample. So here's the question, why we need the apertures? Because we want to align the, ion, the beam lines. As you see, uh, there have four apertures. These four apertures are electrical isolated. So when the four apertures have same current, the sample behind the aperture will have same dose rate. So for this project, we also care about the temperatures. Behind the stage, we have heater and the cooling air to control the temperatures. The heat will be transferred by the indium layer to the sample. Besides, we also have infrared parameter to get the temperature at a three point for each sample. Here is the here we use lab wheel to get the all the data for this project. As you see, we can get the pressures inside the chambers, the stage currents and the four aperture currents. There are also four temperature on the sample. So the advantage of this project, compared with the traditional methods, we don't need to put sample inside the nuclear plant and then wait one year to finish the irradiation. For us, we can record the experiment data by the computer and the precisely control the temperature and the ion dose. Besides, the, the sample after the irradiation have low activity. Here, I want to thank Professor Watts, Radio Toder, and the nurse advisor, Pam Derry. With their help, I can have this opportunity to learn about this project. Thank you. <laughs>